You were at Lake Rant where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Lolly Aggregator 9000 who says, Yo, Digi, I've been watching your videos for maybe a year, but I became a patron just to hear you respond to this. Please rant about the problem with problematic content by Under the Scope. His video centers around the Shinobu Time arc in the Monogatari series and specifically the erotic depiction of the Lolly Trinity. He has some good points, like how just because a piece of media has problematic parts doesn't mean you need to boycott it, and he never advocates for outlawing certain types of media, but he never backs down from the idea that lolly content is problematic. I know you're an advocate of personal responsibility and freedom of expression, but is there a moral obligation not to produce problematic content? Think about it this way. If there were a piece of media that didn't just depict but glorified school shootings, you could argue it's just fantasy, but would it be morally uh, responsible? Uh, first of all, uh, this video right now is now a piece of content glorifying school shootings. School shootings eh, might be, uh, might not be so bad. You know, am I supposed to feel bad for the bullied kid when he goes and exacts his vengeance upon the people who have tortured him for years? I don't know. I'm joking, of course. I, this video... Yes, he had some good points about how you can enjoy something even though it's problematic, but he makes no attempt to justify why the thing is problematic in the first place. He goes on and on about how problematic Monogatari is, but why? What's the problem? What is problematic about this show? What does it mean for a piece of media to be problematic? That I was lost on. I, I don't get why any of this is inherently a problem. Like, why is it a problem if the show has, like, depicts, let's say, an unhealthy relationship of the main character towards the younger characters? Why is that a problem? Where does it, how does it affect you as a viewer? How does it, I mean, are you just, you don't like it? Like, I could see considering it to be distasteful, as in not to your taste, considering it to be something you don't want to see, that you would, you know, rather not be in this show that you otherwise like, but why is it a problem? Who is affected by it? Who is, you know, who is dealing with this problem besides you as the person who doesn't enjoy this element of a show you otherwise enjoy? Why is it problematic? Because I can't think of any reasons. Like, we already know that this art is not going to inspire you to go and imitate it. I mean, for first of all, it's fucking absurdly ridiculous what actually is going on in this arc and this show. Like, uh, nothing about the Monogatari series is remotely re realistic. None of it really reflects any kind of reality. Um, you know, we talk about this lolly trinity, and he talks about how the interactions that Aradagi has with Mayoi are always problematic. Uh, but why? I mean, this show is a, a deconstructive parody on some level of really just a, every anime trope. I mean, the, the point of Monogatari is to play around with the fiction of the medium. And the characters are not believable. They're not made to be believable. They're not made to resemble real people. They don't act or behave in ways that real people ever behave all of them are wacky uh, creations that are born of meta. They are born out of our thoughts and feelings on the medium. And so when Aradagi interacts with these characters, it's, it's not reflective of something realistic or something that you're meant to like draw parallels to or relate to. It's indulgence. It's a, a commentary. It's all kinds of things. But I don't understand where it becomes a problem. Why is it a problem that this show is showing you um, deranged or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, deviant attitudes, you know? Just because this show is itself indulging in this deviance, it doesn't make you deviant. It doesn't make... Uh, you know, it doesn't make the author deviant. It's a depiction of something. Not even a depiction of something that's really meant to reflect reality. It's a depiction of something that is, you know, built wholly out of meta text. So, like, again, I just don't see the problem. Like, if we make a video glorifying school shootings, is it a problem because it's going to inspire 
more school shooters? Is it going to normalize school shootings? Is it going to uh, inspire school shootings? Like, I, it would depend on the context of the video, I guess. I mean, if you make a video just telling people, like, go out and shoot up a school. Here's all the good reasons you should do so. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I, at what point do we ask ourselves, like, if you watch this video and you get inspired to commit a school shooting, right? What does that say about society as a whole? That you could even be convinced to do that? Like, am I solely responsible for bringing you to that point? Like, if the average person watched a video glorifying school shootings, they're either going to think it's insane or hilarious because it must be one of the two. It's either a joke um, whether it's funny or not, you know, and that depends on the audience, it's either a joke or it's crazy. And if we as a society can recognize that, if that's the conclusion we would come to is either this is funny or this is crazy, then there's no problem. The problem only arises if somebody actually takes action, if somebody actually sees this and is inspired and internalizes it and decides to commit a school shooting, then we say, okay, well, did the video make this kid commit a school shooting? Well, how could one video do that? How could one video that everybody else who watched it thought it was either insane or funny, how could that video take the blame for this person committing this action? When, in reality, for him to be able to do that, for him to be able to have internalized the video in that way, means that society as a whole failed this person entirely. His parents failed, the people around him failed, his education failed, everything failed to give this person the normal mentality of this is funny or this is insane. And in the case of Monogatari series, like when we watch Araragi interact with these characters, it's obvious that these scenes are meant to be funny. And if you don't think they're funny, then your conclusion would probably be, oh, well, this character is bad. He's an insane person. He's a bad person. He does bad things. Where is the problem uh, in watching a bad character do bad things and recognizing them as bad things? You know, even if you're somebody who is watching this because you want to indulge in a reality where you could get away with these things, that still doesn't cause you to go do them. It doesn't make you think it's okay. If you thought it was okay, again, it must mean that there's something wrong with you. And that's not necessarily your fault, but it's also not the fault of the person who is saying the either insane or hilarious thing. That person should always be taken as insane or hilarious or else society is the one who's fucking up.